Welcome to New York. So today is Tuesday, uh, Feb 2, 2021, the day after the snowstorm, and I'm here in Grand Central. So doon, doon ako galing. Tapos napansin ko, by the corner, sa isa sa corner dito, bago lumabas sa 42nd Street, papunta dito, like dito. Yan. Yung corner, merong, ayan, nakikita nyo, na merong history about um, Jackie Kennedy. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung sinasabi about sa Grand Central. So, yan, tingnan natin kung ano yung sinasabi about the Grand Central. But before I go on with our vlog, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click down below the like, share, subscribe, and smash that bell notification so that you will all be updated with our new vlog every week. Tara, tingnan natin. Yung mask ko, bumababa na yung isa. Kailangan kasi mag-double mga kanuyog. Okay, tara, tingnan natin kung ano yung memorabilia or history na nakasulat dito sa corner ng Grand Central. Tara, tara, tara. So, usually, bago ka talaga lumabas, dito sa 42nd Street, nakikita nyo yan. So, yan. Dito, yan. Yung pinakamalaking yan, dyan usually may mga event. So, kailangan talaga ay observant ka. So, yun nga, nakita ko nga na may nakasulat dito. Ayun, doon, doon yan. So, babasahin ko, ibibideo ko din, ibavlog ko para malaman natin kung ano yung history noong 1975 ng Grand Central. Jacqueline Kennedy, called by her family as Jackie, was born in 1929 in Southampton, New York. At the age of 22, she won a Vogue Prix de Paris Junior Editorship based on her essay, but she declined the award, and instead she took the job inquiring camera girl in Washington Times Herald. Year 1953, Jackie and by then Senator John F. Kennedy were married, and by the year 1960, John F. Kennedy were elected as the President of United States of America. Jackie Kennedy and President Kennedy, together with their two children, Caroline and Jan Jr., Jacqueline Kennedy become more interested in historic preservation like the Grand Central. In the early 1960s, the Municipal Art Society and other groups rallied the city to legislate protection for historic buildings. With no safeguards in place, the Pennsylvania Railroad began demolition of Penn Station in October 1963. Public outrage intensified action for preservation. A month after the demolition began at Penn Station, thousands of New Yorkers gathered in Grand Central's main concourse to view the funeral of Jackie's husband, President Chan F. Kennedy, underscoring the vital role of the Grand Central Terminal as a public space. Year 1965, Mayor Robert F. Wagner signed the Landmarks Law creating the Landmarks Preservation Commission. And Grand Central was the first building to be designated by the new commission. Despite Grand Central's designation as a landmark, its owner, Penn Central Corporation, sought permission in 1969 to erect a 55-story tower atop the terminal. The Landmarks Commission, rejecting this proposal, found the tower would simply overwhelm the terminal by its sheer mass. In 1975, Jackie Onassis asked the Society or the Municipal Art Society Executive Director Kent Barwick on how she can help to preserve the Grand Central. Together with the help of other people, they created a committee to save the Grand Central. In 
In February 1975, Chucky made a personal appeal to Mayor Beamy, I don't know how to say it if it's Mayor Beamy or Beamy, whose administration was considering to give up the case. In March, Beamy announced the city would fight on to save the Grand Central Terminal. The committee to save Grand Central used different platforms such as rallies, concerts, and free weekly architectural tours to publicize the importance of the terminal. In 1976, Jackie turned on a ceremonial switch to illuminate the terminal south facade. In 1978, when the court case reached the U.S. Supreme Court, Jackie joined the Landmark Express, a special train from New York City to Washington, D.C., carrying concerned citizens and officials demonstrating the need to preserve the importance of the landmarks. In a crucial decision, the Supreme Court of the United States upheld the landmarks law and Grand Central Terminal was forever saved. During post-restoration rededication ceremony in 1993, Jackie Kennedy Onassis gave an award to Peter E. Stangle, who championed the early improvements of the Grand Central Terminal for Metro North Railroad and MTA. Metro North Railroad renovated the main entrance and dedicated it as the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis foyer. Tapos, ito pala yung main entrance ni Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis foyer. So usually, dito kami ako pumapasok at lumalabas going to work. So ito pala yun. O yan, nakita ko siya. OMG. Tapos ito pa, by the entrance, nakalagay yung memorabilia ni Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis and yung connection niya sa Grand Central Terminal History. So yan mga kanilig. So before ka lumabas dito and before ka pumasok doon sa loob. So, yan. Yan yung mga kanuyok. So, yun pala mga kanuyok, yun pala yung nagawa ni Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis sa Grand Central kung paano ma-preserve ang Grand Central nung panahon na yun. So, informative. So, usually, kailangan mo lang talagang maging observant dito sa Grand Central kasi usually, may mga corner pala dito na Sinasabi yung history ng New York City, ng um, Grand Central, specifically kasi nandito tayo sa Grand Central. So, I hope mga ka-New York will learn something about the history of Grand Central. And if you like this video, just click down below the like, share, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any. So, yun lang mga ka-New York. This is your Queen Nuyoko nagsasabing be safe, be good, and God bless. Bye!